Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Zulu Entertainment, and today we're going to be talking about fair use. And I must say, hashtag where's the fair use? Now, what is fair use? Fair use is a law made several decades ago. I can't remember exactly when. I think it was the year 2000 or something. And this law was made for reviewers, meaning if you review, you can use footage of another copyrighted source if it's done under fair use. Like, for uh, for example, Nostalgia Critic, uh, Angry Video Game Nerd, maybe. Well, he does more video games, but you know what I mean. People like them. Uh, Nostalgia Critic, uh, lot of stuff. I hate everything. And they all operate under the Fair Use Act. And this act allows them to use the footage from movies legally because they are reviewing it and therefore using it in a transformative method. So what's wrong with this? It is being abused by not being allowed to exist. Now, what do I mean by that? So many companies are taking down reviews because of the fact that they are... Uh, uh, they have con uh, like copyrighted content in them, even though they're being used under fair use. Like, for example, I Hate Everything, his channel was completely taken down for almost a month, well, several weeks, because of some reviews he did, even though he was using them under the Fair Use Act. And so, and there's not even a monitoring system. This monitoring system by YouTube sucks. YouTube needs to have a moderation system, but this one is going haywire. So what do I mean by that? Like, there's no humans even operating on it for it to really, like, do it. Uh, it just does its thing. And it doesn't take into consideration fair use really at all. Any company can just take down the video saying it's fair, uh, it's not fair use. And YouTube will do pretty much nothing to stop it. You have to meet, like, a, make a big crying fit for YouTube to actually, like, reinstate your video. And, like, there's no human control over it, so it just doesn't work very well. And another bad thing, monetize it, monetization. People can take monetization, and this is what happens. When they take monetization, they get all the money you make from the particular videos, and even sometimes your entire channel for the duration of this uh, time. And the problem is, even if the copyright claim is proved to be false, the, th the third party gets to keep the money. So that means, say somebody, uh, say, nostalgia critic, say somebody said his video was infringing on the rights. They can get all the money from that video, and even if they were proven wrong, they still get to keep all the money that they made off of that video, even though they just blatantly stole it from the nostalgia critic. Now that is complete crap. Now, how does this affect someone like me? Well, nobody is safe. It's not just the big YouTubers. Even the small YouTubers are affected. Like, as you'll see on screen, uh, big, it'll happen to people like me. As you can see, these are my copyrighted videos, or well, the ones that have copyright infringement on it. Of course, you can see all my cat groove remixes on there, and I don't have a problem with that. I knew they were going to get copyright flagged because I just used the song. They weren't ever meant to make money, but... You can see there is an episode of Mayhem's Equestrian Reviews in there. And as you know, that is transformative. I am reviewing episodes. I use a little bit of the footage, but I don't even use audio. I just use like 20, at max, 15 to 20 seconds of visual content. Not even audio. Not even like 20 seconds long. Usually between 5 and 15 seconds long. Now, I got flagged for that, and now, whenever I get the chance to make money, Hasbro's gonna be making all the money from that review, and that absolutely sucks. That is complete freaking crap. And there's even worse things about this. I thought, when I first heard about this, I thought, people are gonna start trying to abuse this system. And they have. Now, right here, I hate everything. Now, what's up with I hate everything in this? So, he did a video, I hate darn Daniel, and that is all fine and dandy. But you know what happened? He got a copyright claim on the video for a song in his video. But you know what happened? The song wasn't even in the video. The song that he was getting a copyright claim of, not even a clip of it was in the video. It was just not in there at all. So he decided to contact the creator of the song. Uh, 
and he talked to him, and the creator of the song had never even seen the video, and uh, the company that was taking all the monetization for that video, because they decided to take the monetization because of the song, it was a company called Merlin something, and the songwriter had never heard of Merlin. So, you know what that means? Some person is masquerading as a company called Merlin, and just did it to take all the money from I Hate Everything's video, all of that moolah is going to this guy who owns this Merlin uh, company or whatever. And so, and there's nothing I Hate Everything can do to get the money back. All the money that this guy makes from the video, he gets to keep, even though it's blatantly false. The song isn't in, even in the video, and this guy isn't representing the guy who made the song. And the guy who made the song had never even heard of the video or seen, like, the video at all. I mean, seriously, just, there's a guy, it's probably a guy sitting in his basement, just, like, laughing and typing in his keyboard, he <laughs> because he's making money off of I Hate Everything's video, and that is just complete crap. We need to fix this. What YouTube needs to wake up and see what they're doing is wrong. This is just annoying. I like watching I Hate Everything, and his channel got taken down for over, a, like, almost a month but it was just like a false claim. False claims. Can you freaking believe that? Well, are you pretty sure? Like, YouTube didn't even tell him why his channel was taken down. Seriously, what is wrong with the YouTube automated systems? YouTube needs to come in and fix this because they have they provide entertainment to millions of people. And if you when you have entertainment for millions of people, you have a certain responsibility that you need to uphold to yourself. And YouTube can't even uphold this system that they implemented. Now, there's good things that the system could do, but YouTube just doesn't care. They make money from YouTubers, so they should really care what happens to their biggest YouTubers. Uh, it, I could kind of understand it if it only affected small YouTubers, but I Hate Everything has over half a million subscribers, and uh, the Nostalgia Critic has 300,000 subscribers, coming on 400,000. This is just freaking ridiculous. I am really angry at this. We need to get them to fix this. So what needs to happen is the hashtag, hashtag WTFU, where's the fair use? And I ask again, where's the fair use? We need to get this problem fixed for all YouTubers, the big YouTubers like I Hate Everything, Nostalgia Critic, and all the others who have been affected, and the small ones like me, possibly you, all the YouTubers. This is just a growing problem. I'll leave links in the description below to Nostalgia Critic's videos uh, on where's the fair use. I Hate Everything, I'm pretty, uh, yeah, he did a video on I, uh, fair use, I'm pretty sure. Uh, even people like Proto Mario and stuff have done videos on it. It's just getting ridiculous. I mean, seriously, if this happened once or twice, it would be fine. But, like, the amount of times it's happening, it is getting ridiculous. So we need to all unite together to fight against YouTube and get them to wake up. So, repeat it with me. Hashtag, where's the fair use? Where's the fair use? That's all I have to say. This rage rant is over. And I hope we can get this done. If we all work together, we can probably convince YouTube to fix their horrible flaw. And hopefully it'll become a reality. This is my dream. I have a dream that people will be treated fairly on YouTube. That's all I have to say. And until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Azui Entertainment. And where's the fair use? Hi, I'm Sparkle, and I approve this message.